going on guys welcome to everything always my name is michael roman now ahead of this friday's release of the second episode of the falcon in the winter soldier marvel and disney have officially added a trigger warning to the description and the splash page in disney plus we're going to read through it word for word and then i'm going to point to three specific thematics this trigger warning most likely applies to given what we know from official sources like the director and anthony mackie himself and even what we found out via the name of the production llc we're going to break down everything about this trigger warning and what it means for the upcoming Falcon and the Winter Soldier episodes. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we're still giving away a PlayStation 5 at 800,000 subscribers, which we are about to hit any day now, as well as Disney Plus subscriptions while the shows are live. If you want to be entered to win, all you have to do, hit that subscribe button, then leave a comment down below. And if you want, stick around at the end of the video. We'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. So first up, the lightest of spoiler warnings. We're going to be talking about episode two, the future of the series and possible scenes that are going to play out to highlight some of these major themes in the narrative. So if that's in any way going to ruin the future of the series for you or you want to go in completely fresh, you might want to back out now as well as if you haven't seen episode one, we're going to touch on some stuff that happened in that episode as well you've been warned. Now here it is, the official disclamatory trigger warning added to the description and the splash page in Disney+. Plus. Quote, though it is fictional and set in the comic book world, the series contains violent scenes that may be viewed as triggering or unsettling to some viewers, particularly in light of recent real world tragic events. Now, considering we already know a ton officially about the future of this series, and there's been no shortage of recent and real world tragic events, that can point to one of a couple of things. The first of which is the original production LLC on Falcon and the Winter Soldier was called Pandemic Productions. LLC, and I don't think I need to explain to anybody how that sort of highlights what happened in the last year. If Marvel plans on making an impending pandemic as part of the protagonists and the narrative going forward into this series, well, you could see why that may trigger some people indeed, as we just all went through that, and there are still many, many lives worldwide that are heavily impacted by that to this day. Now, the second thing this particularly points to is the racially motivated violence we've seen, particularly in the United States here over the last couple of years but has always been a problem that culminated in the Black Lives Matter movement here recently and we've also seen a slew of Asian hate crimes happening in the United States. I have a feeling some of that may come to play with some of the quotes that we've heard about the questions this show hopes to ask. It seems as though it's going to point directly to that theme, what's been going on in the United States for a while. And since we're talking about it here at the channel and after a thousand videos, I rarely ever get a chance to weigh in with my community on what's been going on in the real world. I does not go without saying, so I want to say it loud and proud now. We support the Black Lives Matter movement. We are an LBGTQ ally here at the channel. No matter who you are, where you come from, your socioeconomic background, the color of your hair, eyes, or skin, your sexual orientation, your ethnicity, it does not matter. You deserve to live a life that is happy, free of persecution, and as long as your pursuit of happiness doesn't come at the expense of others, I love you, you are beautiful, and you are welcome here. Marvel using their platform to illustrate real world problems is something the brand has prioritized as a comic book company for 20, 30 plus years. They've been doing this for a long, long time. Now this show gets an opportunity to mimic that sentiment in a way that maybe the Infinity Saga didn't always prioritize, forcing us to acknowledge real world problems and then using their platform to illustrate ideas of togetherness, progressiveness, acceptance. That's something Marvel Comics has always done and always stood for as a company and something that really galvanized the brand, especially this century in the last two decades. It's awesome to see the cinematic content prioritizing this now and something you can expect going deeper into Marvel Phase 4. Now, the last and recent tragedy, again, that seems to be an everyday occurrence now in the United States is the mass shootings and gun violence. I said this in my full Easter egg and recap video last week that the beginning of Falcon and the Winter Soldier, the body count in that first 10 minute action sequence reminded me of Captain America Winter Soldier. Although there's not blood included in the gun violence and guys, that's to keep the rating from crossing into rated R. As long as you keep the blood out of it, gunshots are okay. That keeps it PG-13. The body count reminded me of that in a way that Marvel movies don't generally do. Yeah, a lot of people die and get shot, Iron Man movies especially. It happens. It's just been a while since it's been that condensed in a scene. I was surprised to see it on Disney Plus, to be totally honest. And with so much real world gun violence rearing its head in the United States specifically every single day, 
countless deaths because of this. I think you culminate that with the racial tension and of course everything that's been happening with the pandemic. These are real life themes that the show is hoping to touch on that are real life right now, reminding us of the world and maybe a way that in the Infinity Saga, when we're thinking about time travel, Infinity Stones and Thanos, we sort of are able to suspend disbelief and use it as escapism. Marvel is forcing us to not use it as escapism anymore and have it mimic what's going on in the real world. That is a welcome change. And quite honestly, guys, the reason we love these superhero movies is because of how realistic they are, not just just because the CGI caught up, but because the people that we relate to, as I said, we feel like we were Tony Stark. We feel like we were Steve Rogers' best friends. We understood their motivations. We were uniquely acquainted with their inner monologues, every detail of their life. We're going to start to see that with different characters now that can serve a different purpose for Marvel. I've said this a couple of times too, right? A character like Falcon, he can't go up against Adam Warlock. There's going to be different threads in different narratives. Characters are going to serve different purposes, and it's awesome to see Marvel focusing in on a character like this to be able to tell a different kind of story. That's what we can expect from Disney+. Plus. We already saw it with WandaVision. We're going to see it with Loki as well. And I'm super excited for the future of the MCU starting to branch now in its content to touch on real life issues and use their platform again to do the same thing that Marvel Comics has always done, confront these issues and offer a solution through acceptance and togetherness. Guys, let me know all your thoughts down below about the future of Marvel Phase 4 and this trigger warning. Which of these do you think we're going to see in the very next episode or maybe all three? Let me know your thoughts down below and quickly let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. We're still giving away a PlayStation 5 at 800,000 subscribers, which we are going to ding any day now. We're also giving away Disney Plus subscriptions every week, every Friday, while the shows are live. If you want to be entered to win for any of the future prizes, which we are announcing some awesome stuff next month, all the same rules will always apply. Hit the subscribe button because you need to be a subscriber, then leave a comment down below. Because it's truly random, the more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced at the end of videos, just as we're doing in this segment. The best way to keep up with the content here at the channel is to hit the notification bell with notifications turned on. And as always, if you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. My name is Michael Roman. You can find me over on Instagram and Twitter at I am fires. You can also find me on Spotify, yep, YouTube as well, and every other musical platform, wherever you use iTunes, etc. under the name All Fires, with two original songs you hear here on the channel as background music and a third single as well. You can find me over there. I also stream on Twitch under Novellen, N-V-E-L-L-E-N, and would love to see you on any of those platforms. Guys, thanks for checking out the channel. Stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.